bring my seasonings. I worry that if I'm not careful, I might make a mistake that ends up putting you in even more danger. Once that thought enters my head, I start losing confidence in myself about the fact that I am determined to overcome my fears and focus on doing all I can when I'm fighting by your side. I 
know that many of the younger generations see me as a sort of legendary figure. Why, my stories and my accomplishments can even be found in Kasharawar, but it does seem that people aren't quite used to having a legend living among them. If I were lucky enough to have one of my predecessors here in the flesh, I'd be wi- <laughs> I was expecting to see weird and wonderful things in this place. But so far, zilch. Ugh, no funky-looking critters with antennae on their heads. No plants full of funky smell. If this carries on, I guess I can forget about trying to find any new cocktail ingredients here. A squirrel, a fox, and a cute kitty cat. Oh, I'm trying to write a heartwarming song with a fairy tale theme, but I think... I need to go back to the storybooks and look for some more inspiration. I'm looking forward to this. grows thick with the stench of evil. I could handle the upcoming battles on my own, but I know you wouldn't agree to it. So promise me at least that you will not let your guard down.
You got a side job for me? Sure thing. Safe house, huh? I'm not a fan of using safe houses that I haven't personally vetted and kitted out, but this is better than nothing. Exploring this domain is one heck of a big job. Even if I wanted to get it over and done with in one go, looks like neither the rules of this place nor my stamina would allow it. You should conserve your energy too. Don't run yourself ragged, it's not worth it. want to keep fighting soon. Do you want a bite to eat first? You know you love my cooking. You should never work on an empty stomach. More importantly, a proper meal will put you in a good mood, and you'll handle yourself better in a crisis. Here, some chopsticks for you. Don't be shy now. Dig in! There are worse ways to kill time than fairy tales. The simple wording, the childlike wonder, the romanticism. It all makes for some nice, easy reading that doesn't require any brain power. Well, until you start noticing some of the more uncomfortable parallels between fantasy and reality. What secrets could be hidden within this domain? I mean, I know we're supposed to be having a break, but I couldn't call myself a professional journalist if I let the mysteries here go unexplored. Good thing I've got my notebook with me. Hey, maybe I'll be able to land an interview with the person in charge. Sounds good to me.
you are. That's close enough. Yeah. Yeah. Let the world collide. Barbados, guide us. Frostbite. Shot clouds high. The birds come. New country. Cool it. Shower me with praise. Let my name echo in song. Go as flat. Wait, hear me. That's close enough. Freeze. This one will be frozen in time. Where do you think you're going? Wind strike! Yeah. Tick! Time to go! As one with wind and cloud! The wind knows me. You are not welcome here. Strike a pose! Time to shine! Barbados! Bonus! Dodge this! I'm getting sick of this game! One with nature! Yeah. That's close enough! Fallen leaves, adorn my night! Done. Time to go. Un into the wind. Let my name echo in song! Wind, hear you. me! Oh, so sorry. Testing my patience. <laughs> One with nature. Two. During my days as a wanderer, if I came upon a beautiful view and was feeling in a poetic mood, I'd stop to compose a few lines. I once thought about writing an anthology of my poems and leaving it on a shelf so I could share with others the way I felt when my eyes first met those wonderful sights. But when I looked back at the drivel I'd written, I gave up on the idea. I'm sure other travelers will get that same sense of peace from the natural world as I did, if it's meant to be. Huh. Uh, this is woeful. I am Fontaine's biggest star. Where is the pomp and circumstance? Well, never mind. I suppose I could do with a short break. One has to replenish one's blood sugar to deliver an ideal performance, after all. Do you want to know the trick to drinking hard liquor? It's all about pacing yourself. Take a small sip, then give your taste buds some time to rest. The burning sensation spreads to your lips, then the aftertaste kicks in. Once you can take a breath in without tasting anything, then you can take your next sip. Stick to that pace, and even death after noon loses its power over you. I like to think that the same principle applies in combat. I am considering whether to fetch my outstanding paperwork so that I can look through it during our downtime. Overkill? Uh, hmm. Maybe you're right. In that case, I'll brew some coffee. I'll make one for you, too. The pleasure is all mine.
into the wind. Clouds high. The birds call. Let me weave you a bird. Huh? Rain out long. This moment will be frozen in time. A moment, please. Face your gift! Witness the power of Gugwa! Huh? Time to go! Fallen leaves! Adorn my knight! Oh, so sorry! The wind knows me! Let me weave you a verse! Rain outlines your fate! Huh? Let's begin. Rain cutter, know my sword. Freeze. Wind strike. Shut the clouds high. The birds come. Get a little chilly. Right now. Don't get frostbite. Cool it. Yeah. No, my sword. Witness the power of Gugwa. Huh? Let's begin. This little book is truly exceptional. The gripping plot is one thing, but the characters? Wow, they're so well-rounded. They really break the mold. I can't thank you enough for inviting me to this incredible place. The next time I find a good novel, I'll make sure to get a copy for you. Command! 
found your head. Texts I usually read. Oh, they give me such a headache. Um, actually, maybe not. I can't afford to relax yet, or I'll end up missing my next thesis deadline. I can't just rely on the star's blessing to see me through. Oh, I have to put in the work myself. Lounge. Very good. I approve. You think it's too quiet here? I find it quite to my satisfaction. It is an ideal place to rest and enjoy a little leisure time. My only quibble is the sheer volume of books here. One can only imagine how long it would take to read them all. I'm on the case. Thank you. 
I find this place very relaxing. I suppose it all comes down to the atmosphere here. It is quiet, but not desolate. And I must say the interior is most suitably furnished. I would go so far as to say that the owner has superb taste. Picture it vividly in my mind. In the theater of my imagination, the scene plays out in full color. I can see the expressions on the characters' faces, hear their words, feel the cadence of their speech. Text on the page is transformed into a spellbinding show, and I watch with bated breath to see where each person's story will take them. So you see, I'm not just another celebrity. I've got solid directing chops, too. Children have all sorts of wonderful dreams, with more colors than even the feathers of the dusk bird. But once they grow up, their once vibrant dreams slowly begin to fade. Luckily, we can use the written word to make a record of our dreams before they disappear. Maybe, when it comes down to it, that's what fairy tales are. <laughs> hmm, you look troubled. Are you worried about the enemies we will soon face? Ah, oh, I see. Sorry, I should have noticed sooner. You asked me to join your team. It is only right that I share this burden with you. The Dandelion Knight's sword is at your command. Let us proceed. <laughs> 